Can uh, can all of you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, welcome uh, Melissa, our uh, marketing de dealer, to uh, do the present for the exposing opportunity in China A50 using CFD. Thanks, Donny. Hi, everyone. We are just waiting for a few more people to uh, log in. So just be patient while we wait for some of them to stream in. In the meanwhile, if you have any questions, please type in in the chat box at the bottom. Or you can also Twitter us. Our Twitter handle is philipcfd. Okay, it looks like it's almost 11, so I'll just jump into it. First of all, some disclaimers. These slides and this presentation are provided to you just for your general information. It's purely educational. And of course, if you are trading in CFD, it comes with some risk because it is a leveraged product. Therefore, it is not suitable for everyone. Okay, so what will be covered today? First of all, what is contracts for difference, CFD? Secondly, is why you should invest in China? And lastly, how to use CFD to trade the FTSE Chinese A50? So what is contracts for difference? A CFD is a derivative product, so it allows you to participate in the price movement of an underlying share or an index. But of course, today we're talking about the China A50, so of course we're talking about index. Please note that a CFD means it's a contract, so you do not own the shares of the company. So as I said, it's a contract between yourself, the client, and the broker, which is Philip Securities. So CFD is a very convenient trading instrument. It allows you to short sell. And therefore, you have flexible trading strategies because you can both long and short. And you can diversify up to 20 times leverage with the CFD world in the system. So why should you invest in China? First of all, there's the economic recovery. And our research is very, very bullish on China and Hong Kong itself. So as you can see from the print screen over there, they have remained or maintain their overweight position on the whole of China and Hong Kong. So GDP last quarter was 7.9% increase year on year. This exceeded market expectations. And even overall 2012 GDP was also above market expectations. Another thing is that for governmental policies, there is no massive monetary loosening expected in the near term. The renminbi or the yuan is still moderately undervalued, and there is a stable domestic demand. So all these combined shows that China is still in an economic recovery stage and is still undervalued. So in the long term, our research feels that it is a good time to invest in China. And of course, there's another thing. You know the term why they say you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket? If you do, this is what happens. So, what I'm trying to say is that if you are not invested in China, it might be a good 
market for you to look into so that you can diversify your portfolio. So in China, there are two types of um, shares, A shares versus the A shares. What's the difference? First of all, the A shares are traded on the Shanghai and Shenzhen stock exchanges. They are generally traded as a premium against the H shares. Another thing is that foreigners are restricted from investing in this market. Your H shares, also known as your Hang Seng, they are companies that are incorporated in China but are traded on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So this means that there are price discrepancies with the A share counterpart of the same company. But why are people investing in the H shares? Is because this is open to foreigners. So we are talking about all these A shares now, right? The FTSE China A50 is the index that tracks the 50 largest companies by full market capitalization listed on the Shanghai and Shenzhen stock exchanges. So what this means is that it gives you a macro view of the whole of China, but you only need to look at one single value. You need not track all these little uh, companies that you may not be familiar with. So how do you use CFD to trade the FTSE China A50? First of all, you gain exposure to a market that's close to foreigners. And it's up to five times leverage. So that means you get a small capital output in order to invest in this new market that, as I said previously, is already at a premium, trading at a premium compared to the H shares. And you can long and short the FTSE China A50 USD 1 CFD. So that means you can hedge, um, or you can just take a position. We have competitive spreads, and unlike our futures, we do not have any expiry. And you can also enjoy corporate actions on the exercise date. And our minimum contract size is only one. So this is a chart of the China A50. Each candle represents 60 minutes, and this was taken just a few minutes before this presentation. So when you look at this chart, you may have uh, multiple views. And because CFD allows you to trade the, this underlying index, um, although I, I do need to make a disclaimer, our CFD, FTSE China A50 index, CFD, it tracks the level of the index, but it's actually based on futures which means that it's cash correlating. So prices may differ from the actual index levels. Okay, that's it. You may have two different views. You may want to sell off, or if you have a bullish view, or if you have a bearish view, you can actually short sell. And you can still profit, make a profit or loss depending on how the market goes and what is your viewpoint. So we keep on mentioning about the FTSE China A50 Index USD 1 CFD. It's a bit of a mouthful, but there is a reason why we call it that. So it's the product name over here, and this is the traded currency, and the index value point, which is 1. Therefore, when you enter into a contract, your contract size is the price of the index times USD1 and the quantity. So you may buy one contract or two or five depending on how much you want to invest in the China A market. So as I said, it's cash correlating. So we have a target spread of 20. Why do you have a spread? Well, we need to have a bid and ask for you to uh, buy and sell. So that's what the spread is for. Our initial margin is um, 20%. And the trading hours as you can see are from 9.01 a.m. to 3.24 p.m. So the features of our China A50, it's a low margin requirement. And uh, don't forget the golden rule. So let's do 
some working example. Say that you are bullish on the China A50 index and you decide to buy one contract at 8,200. Let's assume that the margin requirement is 20% and a leverage of five times. So you buy one contract, your initial capital is only 1,640. Okay, so at the end you close it off at 8,600 which means that your net profit is 379 with your ROE of a 23%. But as I said before, with caution, you may make a loss because CFD is a leveraged product. You can see that if it goes against you, you may end up losing more. So how can you trade this uh, China A50? First of all, you can trade on a CFD trader too. You can also trade on poems, which I think most of you already have. And also now we are on poems mobile, which is not just on your iPhone, but also on your iPad. So before you do any trading, please read our product information sheet terms and conditions very carefully, especially the risks involved. Attend our educational seminars. This will really help you have a better understanding of CFD. This is an intermediate webinar, so the assumption is that everybody already knows what CFDs are about. But if you don't, we highly recommend that you go to our website and sign up for some of the seminars. Please familiarize yourself with the platforms. And if you have any queries, please contact your trading representative, or you can call the CFD desk. So we have come to the end of my very, very basic uh, webinar. And um, you can, if you have any queries, we will be taking questions. And you can also contact us via all these social media or even email. Or you can call us. So let's just jump right into the question section. If you have any questions, just keep your uh, questions inside the uh, chat box. No questions? I'm quite impressed. <laughs> was my was my seminar so um, comprehensive? <laughs> Oh, I do see some questions. Okay, the first question is that CFD tracks the cash index. What about the relation with the futures contracts? So I'm guessing that, um, well actually, just to clarify, it's tracking the futures not the checking the cash. The spread on CFD is uh, 20 for the China A50. Okay, a question is how long can you hold the contract for. You can con hold it as long as you want. Like all our CFD, you can, there is no expiry. So on the 30th day, it will automatically roll over. For commission and charges, 
let me just go over, you can see my screen over here. So let's scroll down all the way to our world indices. Commission is 99 cents per site per lot, which is another question also. There is no cost incurred on the rollover. The long finance charges will be 4% per annum, same with the short side. A question from another attendee is about putting up the slides on the website. Uh, because of uh, compliance reasons, we are not putting up the slides for download. But this is a recorded webinar and will be made available on our YouTube channel as well as our website. So the, our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash philipscfd. I'm getting a few more questions about expiry for CFD. Uh, let me just repeat, there is no expiry for CFD. There's an automatic rollover on the 30th day, and that's where your profits and losses will be realized on the 30th day, but there is a rollover in that sense. So we will buy and sell it for you at that price. A question about SRS. SRS is not eligible for the China A50. For margin call requirement, I highly recommend attending our A to Z, the basics of CFD trading, because that will go more into details on how CFDs work. Because the FTSE China A50 is an index, there is no stock code. And yes, dividend, we do give out dividends. So how we calculate dividends? We just pull up one of our slides. Hang on for a second. So, okay, for corporate actions, we, for long positions, you will receive the cash adjustment. If it's a short position, you have to pay the cash adjustment. So it depends on the number of shares, the weightage, and then the settlement price, the value of one index point, and then it will multiply by the whole stock weightage and the settlement price of the component stock. Regarding CFD and futures, yes, CFD account is tagged to your opponent's account, whereas the Philip Futures account is a separate account. Yeah, for the uh, stock singles, uh, if you want to trade the A50, uh, you just go to uh, CFD under the uh, index, then you just click all, you can see all the indices over there. Okay, we have a question again about the shares composite of the China A50. There are 50 companies all together, so it's a, a really long list, but I think these are the main ones that uh, hold the highest weightage.
for the uh, CSI 3008. For the uh, CSI 3008, it was a different base, basically just the, uh, the company. Uh, one uh, one comprises of 50 companies and one comprises of 3,000 uh, companies. Okay, we've got a very interesting question regarding the advantages and disadvantages of investing in CFD versus futures. I have my futures colleague over here, so we will both have a little bit of a debate, I guess. But one of the main advantages of uh, trading CFDs versus futures is that you can have a short-term view or shorter-term view or even if you have a longer term view, there is no expiry, so you can hold it on beyond the 30 days. You can go long and short, and you can do it from your opponent's account. So you do, if you don't already have a futures account, you can just easily take a view for on the China A50 using CFEs easily. So does my futures colleague have anything to add? Okay, uh, Melissa. Hi, okay, uh, Melissa. Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff here from uh, Philip so, Futures. Uh, so uh, besides what Melissa has mentioned earlier, uh, of course, uh, both futures and CFD, we have our good uh, and lights. So, so by in terms of uh, what Melissa has mentioned, or the pointers, what futures have as well. But uh, on top of that, what we do offer is uh, in terms of the charges. So uh, we do not have those like for, of our daily financing fees and uh, so basically we just keep the fees charges to be as simple as possible. So we just limit it to the uh, commission itself. Okay, so other things aside, uh, leverage is a good factor. Uh, margining, okay, uh, depending on A50, our initial margin will be roughly about 500 US dollars per contract. Okay, so in terms of commission, uh, depends, it varies, so it will range about uh, $8 US okay, if you are trading on the system itself. If a coin rate will be slightly higher. Right, so other than that, um, not much of a difference. Okay, uh, the underlying asset is uh, the same. So if you, uh, you guys will have to have in-depth knowledge, okay, uh, acquire an in-depth knowledge of both products okay, before actually you can just jump into the market. All right. Okay. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Jeff. As I was saying, it really depends on what you're familiar with, because we do have a lot of CFD clients who are just so more familiar with the CFD platform and our CFD product offerings, so they are just more comfortable with trading that. But if you want to trade both products, go ahead, because there are some people who, as I've mentioned earlier on, use CFE mainly as a hedging tool. So if you have a lot of H shares, you're holding a lot of H shares, you may want to take a short position in a China A50 to hedge your position. Or if you want a long futures and you want a short CFD or the other way around, it's really up to you depending on what your trading strategy is. So basically you need to have a trading plan. What this presentation today is about is saying that there are opportunities out there for you. China, the A share market used to be closed off to all foreigners, but through futures and CFD, it's now open to people like ourselves. I think someone just logged in at 11.18. So sorry, but we have really finished our presentation. Uh, the recording will be made available on YouTube channel in the, by the end of the day. So I highly recommend that if you have any questions, please ask them and you can view the video later. Another question is about Chart Nexus. I can't speak for Chart Nexus because it's not our platform. So I'm not sure whether they do have the charts for the China A50. We have a question for futures. 
What is the liquidity of the A50 futures? How many contracts are done daily? Okay, uh, so regarding this question, uh, let's take a look uh, perhaps in the month of January. At the start of this year, roughly average, uh, daily average being just about 97,000 contracts. Okay, uh, in the month of uh, February itself, we actually went past 100,000 know, on the average. So uh, as of right now, March itself, uh, I don't have a firm number, but definitely the number is on the rise. Okay, so the trend, besides um, the Chinese okay, or even the Hong Kongers who are actually quite active in this market, um, Singaporeans actually are hopping on to this uh, wagon uh, okay, for this A50. So uh, we're not asking people to just jump in blindly, like I, like I said earlier. So hoping that uh, this time round, webinars, okay, uh, provided by both CFD or even by futures, okay, we are able to uh, assist clients so for any inquiry regarding this uh, product itself. Okay. I think um, a lot of people have been asking similar questions regarding why we pick the A50 and not the other indices. Uh, for CFD side, we picked the A50 because for China, Hong Kong, we have the FTSE China's A50 and then the H shares in the Hang Seng Index. So we are getting very broad view and we feel that the China A50 is something that a lot of people are more familiar with because it has a lot of uh, bank finance um, companies to it. And also we want to provide this opportunity that is a closed market to foreigners. Oh, interesting question about the Android tablet. Right now, Poems is in the midst of uh, developing their Android app. They do have one, but it's not very stable and it's not a native app. So the developers are trying to resolve that issue as soon as possible. But stocks is on a priority before futures and CFEs. Okay, good feedback. A uh, client has asked us to come up with the SGD instead of USD, uh, so about the currency conversion. Uh, thank you for the feedback. I will let my bosses know about that and see what we can do about it. Uh, unfortunately, the charts are also still in, in the midst of developing. So it's not available on the CFD trader yet, but the prices are live. I've got a question regarding comparing this with the ETF. I am not very familiar with ETF, so I can't really comment on that. But I do believe our research has come up with a strategy report on China on the 28th of January that did talk about this particular index, sorry, ETF. But I guess the way it's structured as an ETF might be why it's, some people are not so comfortable with the ETF. Because ETF, the way it goes is that they, they buy baskets of stocks or, or they try to synthetically replicate the China A50. So again, there are going to be discrepancies between the cash index and the ETF. And again, it's about margin requirement, leverage, because for ETF, 
you have to buy it like a stock. So you may not have the advantage of leverage. Okay, we're going to take one last question. Are there any more questions? If not, thank you very much. And once again, these are our contact details. Please feel free to go to our website, drop us an email, tweet to us, like us on our Facebook. We are also on G+, um, any other social media platforms I can think of. Um, if you are not into social media and you want to talk to a human being, feel free to contact us at that number there as well. Thank you everyone, and I will look forward to you see seeing you at our next webinar. For those who are more comfortable with Mandarin, we do have a China A50 presentation made by our futures colleagues talking about the A50 futures itself. So please go to our website and sign up for that if you are comfortable in listening to Mandarin and would like to know more about the China A50 offering on the futures site. So thank you and have a nice day. Bye.